In the next episode of the Integrative Hermetic Health Program, Hugo Rodier, an integrative medical physician, will discuss a severe problem in the medical area, one that was first noticed over 150 years ago but continues to this day. That is, the perplexing problem of physician suicide. In fact, right now, physician suicides are on the rise. One of the things that we found is that, hey, maybe your doc seems a little bit more distant, maybe not as attentive as they used to be. A new survey found that nearly two-thirds of U.S. doctors feel burned out, depressed, or both, it's obviously directly affecting their relationship with patients. Here's the statistic that really hit home for me. Over a million Americans will lose their physician this year to suicide. And, you know, if you think about it, an average doctor would take care of 2,300 patients. And, and it's something people don't like to talk about. And I remember being in medical school the year before I even showed up, someone had committed suicide in the locker room of the anatomy lab. And then you continue to hear stories. We don't like to talk about it. Fortunately, Dr. Rodier had an early realization of the dangers involved in the normal medical school grind, and he took his own steps to prevent the psychological effects of a conventional medical school on the unwary student impacting on his personal life. But at present, this is a big problem. Here is a comparison between the suicide rates in men and women comparing the physician rates to those in the general public. It's much higher. This is a very good question presented by Pamela Wibley, who now, an expert on physician suicide, shares this glimpse of what happened to her in the middle of medical school. I cried so much during my first year of medical school that my eyes sealed shut and I couldn't even see and I had to feel my way to the bathroom. And why did I cry so much? Because I was seeing such barbaric behavior. I was seeing things that were just like, I felt like I went back in time 300 years into some sort of a dark age. It was very strange. Now, I could do the work. You know, the academics were not the problem, just like this guy said. The academics are not the problem. It's this culture where, like, we're 300 years ago. And, you know, actually we, we are because, you know, medical education is based on a 17th century philosophy um, of reductionism, Rene Descartes, right? That's what we're basing our whole Western medical uh, education and Western medical system on, where, you know, reductionism, like, we're just a really interesting bag of skin with a bunch of organs, isn't it cool how all this stuff works, we're very micro to micro, it's, it's really, you know, we're so micro we've lost touch of our hearts and souls. Why are so many of this profession so challenged with depression and suicide? Maybe this is part of the reason, but it's not the only reason. Dr. Rodia will present much more of this picture of this puzzling and disturbing reality. Finally, Dr. Rodia will share his perspective as how to fix this problem. Join Dr. Hugo Rodier, MD, in his next program, Physician, Depression, and Suicide, a Major Challenge to the Medical Profession. We sometimes forget the vulnerability of doctors in their difficult and challenging work. Let's find out why and what needs to be changed in order to improve their situation, but also ours, who need strong and attentive doctors who should be strengthened by their profession and whose well-being should be supported by a sympathetic and educated public.